So the Jaguars dip their hands into a waiver wire bucket and they come out with wide receiver from the Chargers, Tyron Johnson. Now, when Tyron Johnson was waived by the Chargers yesterday, that surprised a lot of people, especially Chargers fans. Chargers fans were not happy about this waving, which, you know, probably is pretty good for us because obviously the Jaguars get to reap um, what they kind of lost. And, you know, you look at Tyron Johnson and you look at it and he has... 398 receiving yards last year. So it's a lot of like, okay, what's really the big deal about this guy? Why is it such a big acquisition? Um, but the thing about him is he did all of that on 20 receptions. So that basically means that he got 20 yards per catch um, on average. And uh, that's exactly what you see when you kind of look at his highlight reel. I mean, the guy has an insane deep ball. He gets incredible separation. And he's also got blazing speed with a 4.36 speed. So uh, the Jaguars, they were looking for a receiver like this this offseason. They brought in kind of veteran guys like Phil Dorsett, um, guys like Laquan Treadwell, who, and they thought maybe these guys can do it. But at the end of the day, they just really couldn't. But um, they go for a little bit more youth where he's going into his third NFL season, um, and they got a guy that it looks like he can really fill that role great. Um, and the Jaguars, he's going to fit in pretty well with the wide receiver room because now we have four different guys at the top of the depth chart that have very unique skill sets with DJ Chart, kind of that 50 uh, 50 ball guy. He also has pretty good speed, um, you know, but, you know, not as great route running. You also have Marvin Jones, who's a good route runner, but, you know, he's in his 30s. And you have LaVisca Chenault, who's, you know, big, powerful guy, uh, move the chains type of guy. And now you have a, a Tyron Johnson who just can over the top kind of guy. Um, great roundup runner, gets separation, and just a deep ball guy, deep ball specialist, so to speak. Uh, so the Jaguars get their guy in that, and, you know, I'd expect pretty good contributions from him. And I think, you know, with Justin Herbert, Justin Herbert and him had a very good, um, very good energy together or very good, uh, do they were a very good duo. I'll just say that. I can't really think of the word for it. And I, I'd expect the same out of Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence also has a great deep ball ability. Um, so this is a huge acquisition for the Jaguars and I'm very, very excited for it. And welcome to the Jaguars. Now, a couple other notes, uh, news and notes. Colin Johnson, I am repping his shirt. Um, he did get claimed by the New York Giants. So a uh, big shout out to him, man. He made a, it was a momentous day on my channel when, uh, he came on, but best of best of luck to him. I will always be a fan of Colin Johnson. Also, Quincy Williams, linebacker, got claimed by the Jets, so he reunites with his brother, Quinton Williams. And lastly, Ellis, Tyler Ellison got claimed by the Vikings, the tight end, after Irv Smith Jr. is going to miss the year. So, you know, those are that's news and notes for today. We'll continue to monitor this waiver wire to see who else the Jaguars get. And with all that said, go Jaguars.